Well, the USNS Comfort arrived in New York City. The Navy hospital ship can treat up to 1,000 patients, easing the burden of local hospitals dealing with the coronavirus. Its sister ship, the USNS Mercy, docked in Los Angeles Friday to, uh, to help hospitals in the hard-hit area. Believe me, people in both these cities and these states are so happy to see them. Joining us now is the military commander leading the mission. He is U.S. NORTHCOM Commander General Terrence O'Shaughnessy from the NORTHCOM Command Center. I'll warn you ahead of time. we got a three-second delay between us. But what he has to say is, is so important. General, thanks for being here. Could you tell me how the communication will work between the New York hospital system and you guys? Yeah, thank you, Brian. And, and first, let me just put a shout out to the Navy for getting those ships ready so quickly, well ahead of schedule. And the way we're, we're postured is we're going to tie into the local <clears throat> hospital system. And so we'll be getting the direction from the local hospital system of what patients we should take and be part of the broader effort. And the broader effort being anything not coronavirus related, someone has an appendicitis or uh, someone has a heart attack, they might be going to your ship, right? That's, that's exactly correct. In fact, if you think about what these ships are really designed for, they're designed for heavy trauma, really significant issues. Uh, and so we are postured to take uh, some fairly severe cases. In fact, already in the Mercy, we have some ICU patients already on board. From where? Uh, from the local uh, California hospital system. Uh, they're actually being run out of Santa Fe is where they're running their command and control for their hospitals. And so they've been directed to us. And uh, we're open for business. And we're ready to, to help with, uh, take some of the pressure off of the hospital systems, both in California uh, as well as uh, in New York City as the, as the ship arrives uh, a little bit later today. Wow, uh, fascinating. So as it gets there, could you tell me, do you know what you're up against? Have you been briefed uh, from the area hospitals about the type of patients you're going to be getting? We sure are. In fact, we're, we're integrated in. I have a two-star commander that's forward. Uh, we're, we're very closely tied in with the local officials, uh, with the FEMA officials, with the HHS officials. So we know exactly how we're going to tie in. Uh, and in fact, it's also tied into the Army expeditionary medical capability that we forward to New York Center as well. They'll be operating out of the Javits Center with almost a thousand or a thousand bed uh, facility there. And so we're really trying to be part of this, this broader effort, this whole nation effort. General, it seems as though if I'm listening to the briefing yesterday and I believe the medical professionals, which I do, uh, this is going to move. Uh, soon, New York and Los Angeles will not be the nexus and the uh, epicenter of this. Are you prepared to move to? Have you been told, hey, next stop, Louisiana, next stop, the next metro center? Uh, we sure are, Brian. In fact, just uh, last night, we got direction from the National uh, Response Coordination Center under Pete Gaynor's leadership, tied into the White House Task Force, of course, uh, to send some medical capability to Jacksonville and Dallas. And so we have a Navy medical out of Jacksonville that's actually going to go to New Orleans uh, in Dallas. And we'll, we'll continue to respond, and we'll go where the nation needs us. What does it mean to you to serve your country in your country as opposed to going on humanitarian efforts around the world? Well, Brian, I've been all over the world doing all sorts of different campaigns, but there is nothing more sacred than being right here at home defending the homeland. And we're not fighting the virus. Uh, our mission here, right from Colorado Springs, is, is to defend our nation. And we view this, our Commander-in-Chief has declared a war on COVID-19. We're part of that as the whole of nation, whole of America approach, and we're incredibly proud to be part of that mission. How many medical professionals on board? How many beds is your capacity? Well, we have about 1,000 each of the, the Mercy and the Comfort. Uh, we have about 500 uh, that are going to be part of the Javits Center. Uh, we have also, we didn't mention Washington yet, but we also have uh, about uh, 250 beds uh, equivalent going into the state of Washington uh, and about 450 going down to split between New Orleans and Dallas. Uh, but we're, we're going to be where the nation needs us to be. Uh, we're bringing medical capa capability, but we're also looking to see what are the other things that we might be able to bring to this fight.
Well, uh, General, Ter General Terrence O'Shaughnessy, you basically have the nation's perimeter handled. Uh, I appreciate you joining us, and hopefully the job doesn't go too big for all of you to handle. Um, it's going to be a very perilous next couple of weeks. Glad you're with us, General. Thank you, Brian. We're here to, here to help our nation.